What's going on guys, John Elder here from Codemy.com and in this video, we're gonna slugify our category pages for our blog with Django and Python. All right guys, like I said, in this video, we're gonna slugify our category pages and make some little tweaks to them. But before we get started, if you like this video, wanna see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, which really helps the channel out and I really appreciate it. And check out codemy.com where I have dozens of courses with hundreds of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off membership. That's all my courses, videos, and books for one time fee at just $49, which is insanely cheap. Okay, so when we left off, we had created these category pages. And when we click on one, it lists all of the posts from that category, but we need to do some work here. So in the last video, all we did was have one word categories, right? So you're gonna have multiple word categories. And what happens when that happens? Well, we start to have sort of problems, but sort of not. So we need to slugify those categories. And that's what we're gonna do in this video. What am I talking about with this slugify category pages? Well, slugify is when you change spaces into dashes, right? So let's head over here and create a new category. And let's call this one coding tutorials, right? So notice it's two words. So now let's create a post for that. So this is my coding tutorial post. And for the title, let's say uh, coding tuts, <laughs> whatever, and I'm the author. And for the category, uh, remember we got to, we have to restart our server first. So let's uh, break out of here and run our server again. And let's reload this page. Okay, so now the category is coding tutorials. And notice it's two words and there's a space. So I'm just going to paste this in and post, <laughs> right? All right, and now let's post this. So here it is right here. And notice, here's our category link, coding tutorials, two words with a space in between it. And when we click on it, look at this URL up here. It's coding tutorials with a space in it. Now, strictly speaking, this works as we can see, but this is just terrible practice. Like we don't want a URL that has spaces in it. What we want is this to say coding tutorials Right, but if we do that, it'll go to that page, but it says, sorry, this page doesn't exist because we don't have a category of coding hyphen tutorials in our database. We have a category of coding space tutorials. So what can we do about this? Well, actually it's not too bad. We can slugify this thing. So let's head back over to our code and let's look at our home.html file right here. And let's look at the link that we've created here. So. Let's see, we can, this is the post title. Here's the post category right here. And it's pointing to post category. Well, we can just right here for post category, we can slugify this. And we can do this with a Django filter, it's just the upright pipe. And then we can just type in slugify. So let's save this and head back over to our website and see exactly what that was. So if we reload, we can see when we click on this now, it goes to coding tutorials with a dash. And that slugify filter, all it does is just removes white space spaces and replaces them with a dash just like this. Okay, so that worked fine. But now when we go to this page, we see this, sorry, this page doesn't exist. Cause like I said, we don't have a category called coding tutorials with a dash in it. We have a category of coding tutorials with a space in it like that. So how do we fix this? Well, let's head back over to our code and look, and let's look at our views.py file. And here it is. And let's head over to our category view. This is the view that deals with this page, right? So what do we got here? We've got, we're calling the database and we're searching for categories with the, the category of cats, which is this guy right here, which if you remember from the last video on our urls.py file, we just did that right here at the bottom by passing in this cats variable right here, right? Remember that from the last video. If you didn't see the last video, go back and check it. It's the uh, links in the playlist uh, in the comment section below. But head back over to reviews.py file. What we wanna do is actually, from now on, this cats that we're gonna be passing is gonna have a hyphen. So we need to strip out that hyphen when we search for the category posts. So we could do that right here. We're searching for the category of cats. All we, can, all we have to do is use a little bit of Python to replace that dash with a space. So we can just call the dot replace function right here. And then it takes two arguments, what you wanna replace, you wanna replace those dashes and what you wanna replace it with. 
and we want to replace that with a space, right? So now this will look for that specific thing uh, without the dashes, right? So, okay, let's save this. And let's head back here and hit reload and boom, just like that, it worked. We don't even have to do anything else. Now, what happens if we do end up for some reason searching for coding tutorials without a space? Well, that works too, right? But here we have one more problem. On the page itself, it's outputting that thing with the space still. So we can fix that. Let's head back over to our code. And remember, when we render this page, we're passing the request and we're rendering categories.html and we're passing that cats, right? And that thing right there, that cats, is if we look at our categories page, right up here at the top, we're printing out that thing right there. Well, that still has a hyphen. So we could just do the same thing right here with cats.title. We can then, well, we could just copy the same thing. We want to replace out this, the dash with a space. Boom. And I feel like I missed. Yeah, there we go. And you notice how we're stringing these along. Cats.title.replace. The title makes the first word of everything capitalized and the replace obviously replaces it. Python is object oriented. With object oriented things, you can just keep slapping objects on and that's what these things basically are, kind of objects. And you do that just by adding a period and then doing the thing. And you could just do as many as you want. So we're doing dot title and dot replace. That's perfectly fine. So let's go ahead and save this and head back over to our code. And now if we hit reload, reload boom, that disappears and everything looks good. So if we head back over here and just make sure we do we did this right again. So we're on the home page. It says coding tutorials here. We can click that. Boom, it goes there. We've got our dash. So the URL looks good. It's not weird. Like I said, it works without the thing, but it's just better to do it with a dash. It's just the convention for URLs and we're good to go. So, okay, so that's how we slugify our categories. Pretty simple. Now, this is not Strictly speaking, what people think of when they think of slug, slug titles, we'll look at slug titles for the actual blog posts themselves later on. In this video, like I said, we're just looking at slugifying our category pages. So uh, keep that in mind. We will definitely talk about slug titles later on, uh, probably a few videos from now. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off membership. So I pay just $49 to access all my courses, hundreds of videos, and the PDFs of all my best selling coding books. Join over 100,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codemy.com, and we'll see you in the next video.